93.9. KISW. Please welcome to the show, Anthony Anderson. You're hey, welcome, Anthony. Thank you for coming in. I know that you've got, you're going to be hitting a plane very soon, and uh, it's it's cool of you to come in and say hi. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me in. Thank, sorry I missed you on Friday, man. That happens. Oh, look at you. Look at it. Listen, I got to tell you something. If Kimmel called me right now and said, BJ, would you come do the show? I'd have to leave you here by yourself, Anthony. I'd have to make that happen. I, I would do the same. If Kimmel called me and said, Anthony, I need you, I'd be like, I'm right. BJ, got to go. That's it. <laughs> you, you, know, you got to do what you got to do. But, and you are legally obligated because you know what? I mean, the backup plan just came out Friday. So they're like, Anthony, you know what? We want you to talk good about the movie and we want you to do it on Jimmy. Uh, well, I've already done it. But if you were to call me again, I would do it. But you know what? <laughs> when, when, whenever you address me or you talk about the backup plan, BJ, you're going have to say the number one movie in America right now. Okay, there you go. The number okay. one movie in America. There you go. Just just don't say Anthony in the backup plan. You say right, Anthony right. and the number one movie in America, movie. the backup right. plan. That's right. right. How's that feel? All right. All right. You know what? I apologize. Uh, you know what? Because, listen, a man needs to be honored for what he achieves in life. And God bless you, Anthony. You've got the number one movie. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Send you to places like this. Oh, well, you know what? I, I, that's why I didn't come Friday, but I put my f in my mouth when I said that's gonna do. I see you Monday before I get on a plane. <laughs> hey, by the way, I did. By the way, now you're gonna think twice by coming over my personal space. <laughs> now you're gonna think twice wearing that pretty cologne. And you're eating again. <laughs> is that what you do? Is that what you do? Oh, there it is, there. Right here we saw Bobby. I'd like to see your penis. No, I didn't say that. I'm sure that's what it was. I'm right? pretty it's sure. We were talking about yeah, there uh, there silence the silence of the Lambs. Buffalo Bill. It's <laughs> yeah, it's oh, there it is right there. Here it comes. We just want you to know what you're dealing with. with oh, them. wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> and I shook your f***ing hand this morning. Yes, you did. <laughs> so now you're connected to Bobby Lee. What do you mean, man? I, I was, I You're needed, in the fetal position. I know. I needed a shower. You're in the fetal so position. Man. You're not supposed you to see your man's position. penis and then get in the fetal position. Exactly. And then just lay there as he towers I'm, over you. I got I to gotta get out of here. <laughs> yes, wow. you do. Oh, wow. wow. What the f***? Oh. Why do you get sick just like, like this? Oh, I don't know. Are you allergic to black men? <laughs> <laughs> Because you were fine on the radio when I was listening, yeah. we were walking, yeah, you were yeah, good. Yeah, cool. you know, you're raising, raising brand. Yeah, we get in, we get close to you, you run out of the room and puke. <laughs> you come back and oh. oh. That's a very good point, Anthony. We didn't bring that up either. Yeah, I know. There's I a mean, lot of things. I'm wondering, you went a lumberjack jacket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really curious as to what's going oh, on up here. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I got this out of my, out of my truck, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 truck. Yeah, truck. F-150. F-150. Just keeps me warm, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's I what they said keep... about the fire they put on my lawn. Why did you just... <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I mean, Yes, we have Anthony Anderson in studio. Uh, currently in the movie, The Backup Plan. No, mother... F <laughs> the number one movie in America, <laughs> The Backup Plan. The number one movie. <laughs> In America. <laughs> He's also on one of the biggest shows in the world. It's been on every, longer than Gunsmoke, I heard now. Longer right? than, yeah, well, we've tied Gunsmoke for the longest one in one hour drama in television history. Oh, I'll fix that. Where's James we, Arnett? We, 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 no, we will be back for our 21st and unprecedented season in July. Now, which law Now, which law and order are you? Because there's uh, a the, lot of the, them. The one that says law and order. That's the one. <laughs> notice not notice I didn't say criminal intent. Notice I didn't say law and order, SBU. Yeah. I just said law and order. And order. I want to see Law and Order SUV, special utility vehicle. <laughs> That's what I want. Come on, Anthony, make that happen. You're just driving around with the kid in the, in the backup plan with the poop in his hand. Where's that one? <coughs> but I mean, it, it's good that you Somebody guys kick him in his butt. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What is, dude? Why don't you go to the bathroom? I, I really think he's allergic to black men because until I walked into the studio, uh, he, he was, was fine. He was. Now he's puking. Yeah. He took off his red and black lumberjack jacket. 
Yeah. I, yeah, I thought you were built for tough. Excuse me, bro. That's my bad. Sorry about that. Oh, that is your bad? <laughs> that is your bad. Well, you put some snuff in your mouth before you spoke to me this morning. Now, you weren't sounding yeah. like this when I was driving into the studio. You know, I had a, I, I, when I put that uh, j- jacket on today. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Don't, you're coughing all over on that freaking reject. Oh, my God. Anthony, I apologize. It's, I know you showed up but here. It's all right. I've had my tetanus shot. After I left, I realized. <laughs> I realized you were coming in, and I thought, oh, this is probably not the right jacket to wear. <laughs> Why are you Googling me right now? Oh, is that what you call it nowadays? I was just checking. <laughs> is that uncomfortable if someone's Googling you right in front of me? I mean, in right in front of me, yeah. I mean, yeah. if you want to know something about me, just ask me. Well, I, did, I didn't you want to ruin it. You really? No, I was just, uh, you know. I mean, you do that, and you, you turn your screen around if you're trying then, to come up with stuff. And then he goes, like you know the guy. And I'm he goes to Wikipedia, which is never re- reliable. Yeah. yeah. Anthony, yeah, I, just, I, 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 don't know, I don't know how old you are, Anthony, but he's from a generation where they think, if I go to Wikipedia, I'll look like I know everything. And it's like, you know, if you don't already have it in your head, it's not impressive. Well, it says, I'm the son of Dora. I have no idea who the hell Dora is. The Explorer. <laughs> you don't have a mom, you don't have a mom name? <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. No, my mother's name isn't Dora. See, wow. that's why you can't. You can't trust Wikipedia. They got something about my stepdaddy or on the chain of clothing and stuff. Well, who the hell is Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is Wikipedia getting his information from? I got to okay. tell you something right now. If that's the truth, your mom did pretty well getting a stepdaddy and on a chain of clothing stores. That's pretty good for the second try. Yeah, yeah. Oh Usually your second God. try is not as good as your first try. Well, yeah, the first try wasn't the first try at all, man. So she hit the jackpot when she met my daddy. There you go. All right. So are then, you married wow. to Alvina? Alvira? Yeah. Uh, Alvira. Oh, the <laughs> mistress of the dark. <laughs> Look at you. I always think right. you had it in you. Marrying, a, you what? Marrying, a, the, the, marrying the goth queen. You gotta <laughs> yeah. love that. Oh, well, I am. Is it scary being yeah, married to Alvira? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only when the lights are off. <laughs> only when the, this is why I hate Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, and how about you seriously aren't? The son of Dora, really? No, it's Doris. Oh, okay, Doris. Yeah, that's that's, that's a whole another thing right there. Yeah, because that, that's Dora, embarrassing. Dora, it's a whole another vibe. See, man, they do put BS info up there. So when we go up and we ask, so hey, man, so we heard about your whatever, and they're like, no. Can I call up Wikipedia? Can I call Wikipedia up and be like, hey, homie, you got the wrong stuff in there? Will we, will I think you can it? fix it yourself, can't you? Yeah, anybody can go in and just do it. Puts up the information. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wikipedia's like it's but, really. Yeah, but if Anthony, you want to be the guy that's updating yeah. your own Wikipedia page, I got to be honest. When I watched the film, I kept getting bummed because I'm like, when are they going to when they're going to show J Lo's ass? I know you that know sounds what, dirty, but uh, no, it doesn't because. I was in the premiere the other day. I was like, are they ever going to show it? Right. And they never did. I think it was part of her contract. It's like, you can't shoot me from the But there was down. that quick scene where she was in the thong. The, uh, the thong? And then she oh, ran off. Yeah. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But, Come back. she was also eight months pregnant in that one, too. I don't care. But there was also a sneak peek earlier when she was wearing the black spandex. <laughs> yes. Early on, that was the only time yeah. you really got yeah, a But for the most part, it. it was waist up. I'm like, I this know. is ridiculous. I know. Now, but then they show, then she shows that? a picture. That they acknowledge it in the movie where J-Lo's like, I used to have a great ass. Yeah. And they and, talk about her ass, yeah. but don't show her ass. And show a picture. I don't yeah. even know if that was her ass. Yeah, Why would they that. not show her ass? I, I, I don't know. It's one of her best assets. Oh, That in her face. I got to be... Seeing her on the big screen, God, is she gorgeous. She glows. I yeah. remember when I met her for, for the first time on set, I went into her trailer and sat with her and her husband, Mark Anthony, and I was like, wow, this woman is beautiful. Like, she glows. Pictures you see of her do her no justice wow. when you meet her in person. So, uh, knowing you like some football, who do you like? What, what, do you got any teams you like? <laughs> You're probably going to spit on me. Um, I hope you wouldn't. No. Uh, I'm, I'm LA boy, man. The, the Raiders, man. Uh, the Raiders. Oh, yeah. Hold on. All right. Let's get the spit ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my team sucks, you know, but I got to ride with the Raiders. But I grew up wanting to play for the Dallas Cowboys, so the, the Raiders and Dallas Cowboys are my team. <laughs> well, at least you're top. He's not a fan of yeah. you anymore. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a, you're he's over two. See, I, yeah. I knew something was going to happen, baby, yeah. but look, I just I got to be honest with you. Yeah. It's so tough with Seattle because you know we uh, you know we're, we're a relatively new team when you think about the world of football and we got a lot of cowboy and a lot of raiders and a lot of idiot Steeler fans and we go hey do you know we have a football team here too right where right. are all you people coming from and Toppy's way he grew up here and for some reason he loves the Steelers even more than his beloved Seahawks yeah. Wow, really? Got a little winner. How did that happen? Uh, it's a good he question. He likes a winner. He likes somebody that wins. Champions. I mean, you know, the, the, the Raiders won. Yes, they did. Once upon a time. Yep. You know, Dallas wins all the time. You know what time. I love about Raider fans? What? The first thing out of their mouths is usually, I can't wait for our owner to die. 
True. <laughs> Dude, true. That's what happened with the Chicago Blackhawks. He's, 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 he's dead now. No one's told him. <laughs> he doesn't know. But he will never die. He's the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, how is he still alive, man? I don't know. F- formaldehyde. I don't know. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.